Winning Moments, the quest for the 24-hour workout using the activities of daily living. Always get in a good posture and engage the core before moving your body. This will protect the spine, create a power posture, and strengthen muscles. This booklet is designed to bring awareness to different moments in our day as an opportunity to create a better, healthier, more active life. The idea of winning moments began first with me having to find less painful ways to brush my teeth, walk, sit, sleep, cough, sneeze, get dressed, everything. When I was living with excruciating pain, later as a chiropractor, practically every day I would hear and still hear about how people injure themselves doing normal everyday stuff. When I would ask people how they were performing their daily activities, I realized that people were not taught how to care for their neck and back about how people injure themselves doing normal everyday stuff. When I would ask people how they were performing their daily activities, I realized that people were not taught how to care for their neck and back as they go throughout their day. The truth is, I was not taught either. However, my suffering forced me to learn. I would say learn quickly, but I've been working on winning moments for over 20 years. In the beginning, I was learning how to avoid pain. Today, I'm performing these same activities in a way to improve posture, strength, flexibility, endurance, and balance. Many people wait until it's time to exercise to take care of themselves. Instead, what I've learned from pain, discomfort, tightness, and especially chiropractic as my teacher is how to do every activity we ask our body to perform each day in a way that builds a healthier spine and ultimately a healthier life. This is done by utilizing turnover that cause many people stress, strain, and injury. Slight modifications and focus on how we perform these moments that make up a day can turn daily activities into better health. This booklet includes everything from going to bed, sleeping, getting up from bed, going to the bathroom, brushing teeth, getting dressed, exercising, getting in the shower, sitting, driving, working, playing with the kids, watching TV, reading, to preparing for bed the next day, and everything in between. I try to win moments when sleeping, awake, at work, home, doing yard work, emptying the dishwasher, taking out the trash, running errands like food shopping, including how I carry the bags into the house. I try to have this winning moments awareness with everything I do and everywhere I go. I'm always looking for better ways to reduce stress and promote health in my spine and body with every activity I perform. Form. My goal is winning every possible moment of my day in the quest for the 24-hour workout. My goal with this book is to help you win one moment in your day and experience the change it makes in your life. There are two ways we can look at our day and how we're having an impact on our health. One is through a microscope, how we're feeling each moment and what we are doing each moment. Two is through a telescope, how our daily decisions and choices affect our health over the weeks, months, and years to come. The telescope helps us minimize negative thoughts and habits about how we feel or what we feel like doing right now and gives us the proper motivation concerning the type of life we wanna live, the level of health we wanna have, and the daily habits required to live that life. Now, the benefit of the microscope perspective is that if we have the right focus and we are doing the focus and we are doing the right things each moment, we will give ourselves the best chance possible to have an active, healthy life now and in the future. Remember, how we feel today is the result of choices we have made weeks or months ago. How we choose to live today will determine how we feel weeks and months from now. Change happens with consistency and time. The good news is that while following this book, it won't add one minute to your day. It follows everything we already do in a day and how to perform those activities as exercises we would do at a gym or at home to get stronger spines and bodies. Many times we go through our day in a way that causes unnecessary stress. This stress will break down our body and health. When our health gets bad enough, we spend all our time and money trying to get our health back. We still don't make it easy on ourselves because in addition to neglecting our health, we still, still need to overcome excuses like we don't have time 
and we are too busy to take care of ourselves. Comments like these lead to more problems every time. But if instead of those moments that cause unnecessary stress, injury, and pain to our body, we repurpose them into winning moments, moments that produce the health and ability to live the life of our dreams year after year. Health is one of the most important things to everyone. If we are investing two hours out of 24 a day and seeing amazing results to our health and in our lives, imagine what 10 or if possible, 24 hours of investing in your health could do. I'm so grateful that when we invest in our health for two hours, just 8% of our time, or one hour, 4%, or just 30 minutes, 2% of our day, that our body is able to improve our health. It's truly incredible. What an amazing fact that we may not have been taught properly how to do daily habits or have picked up poor habits that have a negative effect on our health for the next 22 hours or 92% of our day. The only other time we may think about our health is deciding what we are going to eat. This can be especially true when we are feeling good and there are no aches or pains to remind us that everything we do in our day matters. That time you put aside to invest in your health is very valuable but it only minimizes or delays you feeling the damage caused by poor daily habits. It's a losing battle. However, the more moments you win in a day, the further those benefits will go. It's threefold. One, your time investing in yourself will go further. When you have less stress to take off the body, your body will invest more of that time into building higher levels of health. your body will invest more of that time into building higher levels of health. Two, you are not only reducing stress on the body by winning more moments, you are also limiting the negative effects that accumulating stress can have over time. Third, you are now actually promoting health throughout your day by increasing the time you invest in yourself by 50, 60, 70, 80, or even 90%. Let's look at percent of time in a day, and these are estimates. Sleep, average, six to eight hours, 30% of your day. Getting up, getting ready, breakfast, exercise, average, two to three hours, 10% of your day. Driving, getting around, running errands, housework, office work, whatever you do as a job, nine to 11 hours, 4% of your day. Practice, games, dinner, time at home, average four to five hours, 20% of your day. Two key areas that we need to be aware of to achieve the health we desire, to live the life of our dreams. One is our ability to reduce the amount of unnecessary stress on our body, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Two, is the time we spend investing in our health each day, mentally, physically, and emotionally. The more we reduce unnecessary stress and the more we invest in ourselves, the quicker and more efficiently our health will improve. One powerful way to improve health is created by winning moments. Take sitting, for example. Here's an activity that has been shown to decrease quality of life, shorten lifespan, and can cause neck, back, and sciatic pain. That seems like a significant amount of unnecessary stress to me. But, and instead of it causing unnecessary stress, we can win that moment by improving posture, balance, and core strength with a couple minor adjustments to how we are sitting. Winning moments can be anything from being able to perform a simple activity like putting on your shoes with less pain to performing deep stretches while putting on your shoes. This book is about how you can be winning moments in your life. Our ultimate goal in winning moments is the quest for the 24-hour workout. We can at least try to perform everything we do with an awareness, intention, and focus on building a power posture that produces strength, flexibility, endurance, and balance. The three keys to winning moments are awareness, a power posture, and muscle engagement. The first level is being aware. Utilizing cues or reminders can help us focus on our intention to win moments. Examples of cues or reminders to win moments could be examples of cues or reminders to win moments could be wearing a rubber band around your wrist, 
a sticky note to yourself on a bathroom mirror, in the car, or on the computer. A great cue for a power posture is to set up a computer screen, pad, or phone so that the screen is difficult to see when you are in a poor posture. When the screen becomes difficult to see, don't adjust your screen, adjust your posture. You can even play a game like how many times do you need to adjust your posture in a week. Try and get a lower score each week. In a car, this is great to do with the rear view mirror. When you slouch, you can't see the entire rear window. Don't adjust the mirror. The mirror is adjusted for a power posture. Adjust your back to a power posture. You'll know when you are in a power posture because you'll be able to see perfectly at the rear window. These are a few of many types of examples of how cues contribute to awareness and ultimately second level is having a power posture in those moments to maximize spinal health, nerve flow, and life to those muscles, tissues, and cells of your body. Power postures are postures we use during any and all activities that protects our spine the most while positioning our muscles to be used where they are the strongest. The third level is core and muscle engagement. Every muscle working together to create a power posture, strength, flexibility, endurance, and balance. This applies to everything we do, including walking, sitting, exercising, cleaning, getting dressed, getting in and out of the car, anything that involves moving our body or holding it in any position as we go throughout our day. That means everything, everywhere at all times. We also want to make sure we are not overworking one side of our body more than the other. We should try to do what we can to work the, work the right and left sides of our body equally. A lot of people's health issues, not just musculoskeletal issues, are because of poor health in that person's hard and soft tissues. Hard and soft tissue work go great together. Hard tissue are the bones of your spine and posture. Soft tissue is the distance between the bones, the ligaments that are holding the bones together, the tendons that attach the muscles to the bones, and the fascia, which is a stiffer, less flexible type of soft tissue that wraps around everything inside your body, including your brain, and is in between your muscles. Think of a telephone pole and the cables that hold it and balance it. If you only work on soft tissue, which represents the cables, they will be under more stress and wear down faster with a pole, hard tissue, that is not balanced, tilted, or leaning to one side, which represents poor posture or subluxation, a joint in the spine that is not moving properly or stuck in a bad position. If the posture or pole in this analogy has gotten stuck in a position that causes the cables or muscles more stress, it would be important to unlock that polar posture for better alignment. This will allow the cables or muscles to be under less stress and better balanced. Equally important is that the cable or muscles don't negatively influence the polar posture. An imbalance, tightness in muscles or fascia, trigger points, scar tissue, poor daily habits can negatively affect the pole, meaning your posture and spine. If it helps, you can also think of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. How much more stress is on the materials and how often do they have to work on those materials to keep that structure standing versus structure that has good alignment? The one additional thing we need to consider, additional thing we need to consider when talking about our body is the importance of flexibility, mobility, and balance. Mobility is what makes our body so great and where a lot of our problems can originate. It's so important that we're taking care of both our hard and soft tissues each day because if one is moving well and the other isn't, both will negatively be affected. However, if we are investing time towards our hard and soft tissues, when both are working well, you'll feel and have much more of an active life, more active than if you were only caring for one or the other. Hard and soft tissue both, as well as many other areas of health, need to be addressed for you to experience the best that your body has to offer. Any one thing is not the only thing a body needs to be at its best.
Here is a sample of what a day performance may look like in our quest for the 24-hour workout. Even though our day may vary based on our job and responsibilities, these concepts can apply or adapt to any lifestyle or schedule. It's a way of thinking about how we do everything we need to do. Each moment we perform an activity and how we perform that activity will leave a positive or negative residue on the next moment or activity. We want to win as many moments as we can to do our part in creating positive